Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalp on Facebook. Real quick, we're going to go over just using the knife. Um, I have it in several of my other videos, but not just focus solely on using the knife. And if I did, I think I do, but I can't find it on YouTube. YouTube and their ways of finding stuff now. They like to take you down the rabbit hole, and I'm not for that. Okay, so select your knife tool. I will tell you wherever you want it to cut. So, like, don't start your knife way down here. Start it above your entire design. So, you see this box that's around there? Start it above that, okay? You're going to click and hold. So, I'm holding my left mouse key as I pull this down. All right, I'm also going to hold my shift key. What that's going to do is that is going to give me a straight line, no matter how wiggly my hand is. You see that red line? Please uh, blow up your screen so you can see this faint red line, okay? You see it over here. It's actually going straight this way now. It's 45 degree increments. There it is up there, okay? There's 45 degrees down there, and here it is straight down here. Okay, so I still have the shift key held down. I also have my mouse key held down. At the count of three, I'm going to let go. One, two, three. Okay, the color disappears. The color disappears because I tell people, your file, the color that's held within here, it's just like a pool. Okay, so you cut the liner of your pool, the water leaks out. You cut the liner of your file, the color leaks out. All right. So let's see. Let's see if we can hide, if we can grab this this way. Nope. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Okay. I will also tell you when going to grab uh, the pieces of your file, start wide to get it. Okay. And some, okay. So this is not working. I will tell you that it has. It just all depends, guys. It's crazy how this is not working, okay? So you see it's still whole for some reason. Makes absolutely no sense. Let's see if we come up here to break apart if it will do it for us. This is acting so strange. I just went and had to download a new uh, version because my version 5.009, I think it was, or 5.014, something like that, would not even allow me to cut it. Okay, so let's come up here. Let's try to cut this again. See if it finally released. This is the most odd behaving. Okay, so there it finally cut. Same exact cut, but it didn't recognize it the first time. It's very strange. So if you fail the first time, go back at it and do it again. It's nothing you're doing wrong. The program is just, uh, sure cuts a lot's being very glitchy right now. All right, so there's your two separate uh, pieces of your file that's been cut. Now, if you want to leave it like this, okay, so if you want to leave these parts open, please understand that these are actual cut or draw, whatever they are, these are your actual lines that are recognized by the machine. So this that's in here will not be cut or drawn. So if you want to leave whatever, okay, so let's say you're making this out of paper. This will be cut and this will still be attached to the paper. So like I tell people, butterflies, the butterfly wings, the butterflies that fly out of the paper that look like they're flying out, this is how they are created, okay? But if you don't want this, you want it to be still a t uh, to be fully cut out. Come up here to path, close path. The color will return. Okay, path, close path, and that's how those are done. Let me try this again because this is very interesting how this works, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work. Sometimes you have to hit object break apart. Okay, so let's try this again. Come up here above, click, hold, pull, and release. Let's try this again. And it worked. You see, it just it doesn't make no sense. So if you're doing it just like I just showed you, and for some reason it gives you the same problems as it gave to me that first time, don't give up. Go back in, grab your knife, and cut it again. All right? You see, I did the exact same technique as I did the first time, and it did not work. 
So the program just kind of has a little bit of hiccups. All right, um, trust me, Craft Edge will get them worked out. They always do. Um, and if you see that your uh, sure cuts a lot is acting up or you see something that's not working and you've used it a while and you know it should be and you've just done uh, an update or maybe you've done a, an update to your sure cuts a lot you went from version 5.014 uh, to 5.023 and something is not working and you know how it should I'm going to show you right now how to do an update real quick Okay, so let's say you were like me a couple minutes ago and you're here and you're like ready to have another stroke because yes, I have had an aneurysm rupture in my brain. That's why I act the way I do. Um, you come up here to help. About sure cuts a lot. If you're in four or five, it does not matter. Click that. Your version number and your serial number, registration number, whatever it is, that big long number will come up. Do not try to click on it and copy it. It'll disappear. But keep that number upright in here. Then come to your little internet. Come to uh, Craft Edge, to the Craft Edge website right here, craftedge.com. Okay. You will come here to the downloads page. Support download. Click that. Okay. Right here, you'll put in your name and your serial number. That serial number, so you'll just toggle back and forth between the page here. So you'll pull up your little number that uh, comes up on the little tiny orange screen because you clicked help. So don't, don't click on that screen at all. Just let it sit there. Toggle back and forth between that and here. And you click submit and the screen will come up. Your 36 or what, no, 64 or 32 bit, whatever you have, or your Mac if that's what you have. Um, will come up, um, then download it, go ahead, go in, read, uh, click all that, click through there, your download screens and stuff like that, it'll start right up for you, and you'll be good to go with your new fresh version, and that'll get you rocking out the correct way, okay, but the previous version, I wish I would have jotted down what it was real quick, but it was like 5.014, absolutely would not cut no matter what I tried. So I know that there may be some versions that people have that no matter what you do, the knife will not work, okay? Um, I literally was looking for the little grenade icon to try to blow it up because there was nothing that was happening. I could not get it to work at all. So that's the little knife tool and how to get your fresh download if something happens. All right, guys, if you have any questions at all, please find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.